Hi friends, I am Vijay Swalanki and you are watching something of everything. Hello guys, in this video we will see how to design combined footing in state foundation. For that, first we need to analyze the model in step 2. Once the model has been analyzed, what we have to do is we have to click on foundation design. For all the supports, we are taking the reactions to the state foundation or we want to just take the supports for which we need to design the combined footing. That's where the question is. Let us select only two nodes for which we will be doing the combined footing. For selected supports only. Select the load combinations for which you will need to design the step uh, uh, foundation and run the step foundation. Once the step foundation is opened, what you have to do is you have to repeat the steps which we had shown in the isolated footing design video. If you have not seen the isolated footing design video, you can click on the top right suggestion list and see the video. Now that you can see the <coughs> two supports have come as you can see. Now if you want to input the project information you can do it. In the foundation plan you can see the column positions, you can see the column dimensions as well you, as well as you can add the pedestal dimensions if you need to add the pedestals. In the loads and factors, all you have to do is <coughs> you have to apply the self factors of one to all the combinations. You have to add the sub bearing capacity factors. For combined footing, let us put one to twenty five in the output cases. You can find that from the table number 1 of IS193 and of the respective tables of your code if you are doing in the other codes. Once that has been done, all you have to do is you have to do load safety factors for serviceability. That means for sizing, it shall be 1 and for design, it shall be 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Two, one by two. This is for Indian codes. You can replace them with your combinations factors as per your design code. If you are doing it other than Indian codes, all the load combinations has been been applied. Now the time is to create the job setup. Click on the create new job. Give it a name. Let us say this CF1. It shall be a combined footing. Okay, the course shall be of India in our case. We'll be in the SI units to all supports, include the load combinations. If you just place your cursor here, it will be showing that you have to create the job. Once the job has been created, the window of strip footing is being seen. Just select the two nodes in the task point, create from selected uh, nodes. It will create the strip between for support number 1 and 2. For whichever the nodes you need to do the combined footing, you have to select those nodes and add them to the strip footing. First, this has been done. Just go to the job that you have prepared. Go into these and parameters. The first one shall be O. You can edit the current job whenever you need, you want. And let us go to the revision parameters. These are the same as we have done in the previous one of get of isolated footing. If you cannot, if, if you don't know about that, you can just learn from there. Before that, in the isolated footing design video, you can see the link on the top right corner of the video. As you can see, unit weight of concrete shall be 25, minimum by spacing shall be 100, maximum shall be 200, strength of concrete, grade of concrete shall be 20, real strength of steel shall be 50, minimum by size shall be 8, and maximum shall be. Let us change the maximum to 25. Okay. In the soil parameters, let's add the clear cover 
to be clear cover we need that of soil soil bearing capacity as per your soil report take of soil above the footing such as loading if there is any water table if there is any and factor of safety against the wind and in fitting geometry this is the most important parameters that you have to do if any of the column of your combined footing is on the edge of the building just we have to place yes instead of no in the fixed overhead let us say in the left side over is the boundary of the building so we have just fixed the left overhead fixed with selfie you can fix the width also but in that case the overhead length will be increased or decreased minimum left overhead length let us say it shall be 0.5 it will be calculated from the column center mind you parameter inputs okay minimum overhead in the right let us say 0.5 this will be the fixed overhead in the left side minimum width of the footing shall be 2.5 minimum thickness shall be Shall be two fifty. Maximum length can be anything as required. Maximum width can be anything as required. Maximum thickness can be anything as required. Length of the one shall be fifty fifty fifty. Thickness of the one shall be fifty. This will be straight footing. Please note, this footing combined footing shall be straight footing. And once you design it, it will show the results. As you can see, left or right overhang was fixed, so. It didn't change right overhead, although it was not fixed, but it didn't change, and it has calculated the footing as the size was enough, nothing has changed. And you can see the design calculations below if you scroll down. As all the design calculations is okay, as per you, you can print the calculations. Sheet. In the PDA, in the output you can see the table. In the design process you can see what has worked out during the analysis. In the detail in schedule you can see the notes as well as plan and cross section of the footing. You can change the notes. You can save the drawing as VXF or DWG as required. In the GA drawing, you can see the GA as well as the size of the footing, combined footing. The titles, you can just change them in the cap code. You can change the parameters of the GA drawing. In the graphs, you can see the combined footing graph. Shear force as well as bending moment. In that case, this is how you can design strip footing in state foundation. In the, for strap footing, what you will have to do is to see our next video. Thank you for watching this video. Do like, share, and subscribe the channel as well as the video. Thank you.